in our series called Tech Tuesdays. This is a weekly 30-minute seminar series that we've designed to explore various uh, product lifecycle and technology solution topics to give our customers and prospects uh, useful information, tips and tricks, and greater insight to our capabilities and the products and services that we have. Uh, today's session is 3D printing technology from Z, Z Corporation. And we'll be covering the background of how this family of 3D printing solutions has really revolutionized the industry. Take a look at its unique value uh, proposition and how it fits from design intention, communication, collaboration, to form fit and functional testing. Uh, my name is James Walsh. I'm a product specialist and account manager here at CamLogic. And welcome uh, to our session. I uh, wanted to start out um, telling you a little bit about CamLogic um, and who we are. Um, we were founded in 1996 by Jim Carlisle. Uh, we're located in Oxford, Michigan, which is in Oakland County. Uh, we serve primarily Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania uh, is our primary geographical territory. We carry a variety of products. Um, we carry uh, essentially the, the entire Siemens PLM suite of software. This covers a, a variety of things from NX, uh, the CAM and CAD side, as well as Solid Edge. We have some additional packages from some third-party CAM uh, Esprit. Uh, we do analysis with FEMAP, uh, data management, team center. And on the hardware side, uh, we do a lot of different products uh, from inspection to reverse engineering with laser scanning and software that matches that as well from GeoMagic and Rapid Form. We also have a variety of uh, 3D printing and rapid prototyping technologies from Z Corporation. And uh, Romer Arms, as well as Shape Grabber, are both uh, scanning devices as well. We offer full training on all the products we sell. It's an on site training or a classroom. We can do customized applications. We've got world class technical support and consulting. And we do offer services for laser scanning and data translation. And we are um, also doing uh, supplier support readiness for a variety of programs from General Motors to, to Chrysler as well. Obviously we're much more than a reseller. Um, we pride ourselves over 15 years in business um, and we've been growing and we have dedicated account staff here um, with a variety of capabilities and we really look at our, uh, our partnerships and as, as the relationships that we're growing and uh, we're, we're happy to tell you that we're growing and, and on a path to, to further success. Well, today's topic and why everyone's here today is uh, we're going to be covering the 3D printer, uh, printer line from Z Corporation. And one of their taglines is uh, the fastest way to create physical color models from CAD data. And color models is really a, a huge separating point uh, with this technology. And we'll dig deeper into that, but certainly monochrome parts um, we can do all day uh, as well. To give you a little bit of an overview of Z Corporation, uh, we've been partnered with them for about six years. They really are a leader in 3D printing and scanning technology. Uh, they have over 5,000 customers worldwide. Uh, they're located in the Boston area in Burlington, uh, Massachusetts. They primarily serve the MCAT, AEC, education, entertainment, uh, GIS, and medical markets, respectively. Here are some of the, the nameplates and the proven technology where it's been incorporated uh, both from a 3D printing and scanning technology and obviously you should recognize many of these nameplates and logos. How does the Z printer work and kind of the, the technology that it's based on? It is inkjet te technology. So just to kind of give you a diagram of, of how it works, um, you take your CAD, you export your files into the standard formats. Typically it's an STL. That exported file uh, is a mesh that encloses in a 3D volume. Um, there's proprietary software that helps you slice the 3D model into hundreds of cross sections digitally and each of those cross sections corresponds to a layer of the model that is eventually printed. Each layer is printed on top of each other until the model is complete so that process continues. To further kind of describe how it works, there's a feed chamber that deposits your powder uh, down into the, to the bed and there's basically a printer axis that spreads a thin layer of powder and those print heads deposit a thin layer of binder and it solidifies your part uh, additively as it, as it grows. Bill chamber drops, preparing that process for each layer uh, as dictated by your CAD and that process continues to repeat. Eventually the bill chamber empties kind of leaving your completed part uh, which is ready for post-processing. 
you talk a little bit about some of the applications, um, really where it fits very well um, in many of the areas of design, but design iteration, communication, and collaboration. Um, there's no other technology that you can bring to the table um, quicker um, that has the uh, level of accuracy and the color depiction, um, obviously, to be able to relay um, your design intent. From a sales and marketing uh, perspective, as you can see from those the models below, um, the level of detail, um, the ability to put your logo onto your parts or communicate your uh, engineering notes and design, and of course, form, fit, and function, as you can see here, a uh, functional part that we're able to produce on our 3D printer as well. Let's take a look at um, one of the things we really lead with and really impress upon um, our prospects is the, the speed capability. Um, here's kind of a, a, an out, outlining a goal, uh, delivering the fast possible on-demand prototyping technology so your objects can be created quickly, really in hours instead of days. Um, so time to, to part is a key metric. Here's just an example of a, a variety of parts, uh, giving you an example of how quickly they can be built. Um, several handheld size parts, uh, two to four inches, can be done in, in a couple of hours. So essentially you could have a morning meeting over coffee and have printed objects by lunch. Um, this just gives you an idea of some of the um, time to build on those particular objects below. Again, speed, the highest throughput put in the industry. Um, raster versus vector approach. It gives you the most appropriate image resolution for the object you, that you're um, trying to obtain those best results with. Um, the print head has multiple jets. It is 300 per half inch. Um, and it gives you, um, it covers 12.7 um, millimeters per swatch with each pass. Um, so it covers a lot of ground in a, in a quick amount of time. Method for distributing the build material. Um, the spread um, of the material is, uh, comes through a nozzle. So you, you've got kind of the, the, fit, the feeding dispensing going on with the, with the binder. And that kind of creates the, um, the model as it grows. The loose powder um, supports the part. So this is another key point to, to point out that we don't require uh, any support structure. So the geometry itself is supported by the powder. And there's no time wasted on uh, cutting away uh, or wasted materials uh, with your support structures as well, with some other competing technologies. Again, the throughput is key. Um, the ability to make uh, multiple models in a single build. You can stack and nest parts. Um, it's capable of doing, just to give a comparison here, it can create 15 baseball size models in a single five hour build, to give you an idea. Um, the 650, which is the top of the line machine, uh, if it's operating around the clock, it can produce over 2,000 prototypes in a month uh, based on that, that size and scale. Um, and it makes the most out of that build area. And uh, of course, the setup is very easy. And we'll get into that a little bit as well. Again, kind of giving you a feel for speed, um, kind of in the a developmental stage on, on some design iterations. We're talking hours and days versus uh, weeks to months, um, really accelerating that design process. Z-Corp's goal really is to bring kind of this prototyping within the reach of every designer and engineer. And really they're achieving this through a few facets. Low price machine, um, there's no expensive lasers or complex uh, controls. Um, they're pretty simple machines and they're uh, in their fourth, uh, really in their fourth uh, generation of, of machines. So they're pretty much bulletproof with, with their uh, capabilities and have a very good track record for um, not breaking down and, and really being robust machines. Um, really great for um, industrial applications. Um, there's no waste of, of build material supports. The unused powder is actually automatically recycled and reused for future builds. Again, maximizing your material uh, to uh, benefit downstream uh, with future builds. And now it's as easy as using a water cure for infiltration. So once your part comes out of the machine, um, you can simply spray it with a saline solution uh, to strengthen your part. And ease of maintenance, very easy. It's using inkjet printer technology uh, off the shelf. Uh, it's modular design, very quick and easy. It definitely minimizes your cost and downtime. Here's an example of a particular part. Um, 
and on average, um, you're looking at two to three dollars um, per cubic inch. Um, this part is almost nine in, nine cubic inches. Uh, but just to give you a sample of what the cost factors would be on the consumable side, this part would cost about twenty-two dollars to you uh, to produce in-house. Kind of featuring the the ease of use. Um, and the goal here, printing your models as easy as printing a document. And that's really a mantra for Z Corp is to, to automate these machines, make sure that, that anyone that can use this, an intern, a student, up to a designer, engineer, anyone should be able to print a prototype um, very easily. Um, very compatible. We, we have one here in our office. We have the Z Printer 650. Uh, it's in a professional office environment. And we're running that um, pretty much 24-7. No real special training is required. Um, CamLogic does provide installation and training support um, upon receipt of, of, of equipment. Uh, but really, you're up and running within hours of uh, getting it the, the program set up. And an orientation, um, you're off and running. There's a proprietary software called ZPrint, and that kind of enables you to monitor, monitor the machine, um, your powder levels, or ink levels. Um, also kind of helps you with the STL process as well. Um, there's a printer display. It's a very easy to use machine. Um, you can perform all your operations at the machine or from a computer. Um, and the Z printer runs unattended during the printing process. So once you're set up and ready to go, um, you're pretty much doing what you need to be doing instead of babysitting a machine. Again, um, automation is the key here. Um, powder loading is all done automatically, fed through a tube. Uh, there's self-monitoring of all those materials so you know exactly where you're at pre-build um, or where you need to be by the end of the month with, with ordering materials. Um, that's all monitored. There's zero liquid waste. Um, there's a constant negative pressure, uh, a closed loop uh, system that helps contain any airborne particles um, and also uh, kind of reduces uh, you know, an, an additional um, waste of material. Um, the fine powder removal chamber on the right, as you can see indicated here, a little tough to see in this picture, but there's a, a chamber there um, which reduces kind of the, the footprint and it creates kind of an environment where you can clean off your part in that uh, post build um, and it's very quiet as well. Again, some diagrams that are pretty telling um, and it's a very accurate system. Um, models that look and feel like the actual product. Um, as you can see, the, the color uh, displays that very well. Um, so the printing is very um, calibrated, and the electronic system does that very precisely. Um, the ZPrint software helps you kind of uh, dictate the, the, the quality of your models. Um, and details, you're going down to about uh, four thousandths uh, of an inch for some of the structural walls. And the accuracy is very similar to a basic injection molded part. Realistic color, uh, obviously the pictures kind of tell it all, but the ability to print that text and the imaging on your part, um, that's all done in a single process. Multicolor, the only system in the world that can do that. Uh, again, if you would like to incorporate your, a company logo, um, you can accurately depict that right on the face of your object. Um, basically, um, any combination of, of, of colors, um, including black now, which kind of creates that richer um, color aspect that is available in the Z Printer 650. Getting into some of the, the file, uh, your typical file formats for 3D printing, um, STL, uh, 3DS, uh, vermal files. Vermal usually dictates color on a part. Uh, for example, like an FEA analysis part, we can actually print uh, that flow analysis on a particular part or the um, the color mapping that matches uh, the reporting onto a physical part. Um, every system comes with Zedit Pro, and again, that kind of gets more into uh, your STL uh, solvency and creating watertight models that are most appropriate for 3D printing. Um, again, kind of leads into color as well, um, and, and kind of enables you to kind of add color where it's needed, so you're not saturating a part and wasting wasting color. It kind of intelligently dictates where color should be added to your parts. And lastly, um, just wanted to show you a slide of the variety of printers available today. 
and currently uh, there are five active machines on the market uh, ranging from the Z printer 150 um, which is an entry level uh, monochrome uh, non-color machine but that machine is uh, just under fifteen thousand uh, dollars Z printer six or 250 enters uh, your basic color option um, you can see the build envelope is the same on these two machines. Um, you move on up from there with a larger build envelope for the Z printer 350. Uh, but again, that's monochrome, um, but it gives you the 8 by 10 by 8 build size. Uh, from there, you have the two higher end machines, which are the Z printer 450 and the Z printer 650. And each of these machines, as you can see, they, they have about a vertical speed of about an inch per hour, uh, with the 650 being uh, the quickest of the bunch. Um, that is the top of the line uh, printer. And all of them use a ZP150, which is a high performance composite material. Uh, very easy to use, very um, white, uh, bright color. Um, works very good with color saturation and also um, the water curing uh, is now a new feature, uh, which a lot of our customers love. So really, uh, to summarize um, kind of some of the strengths of, of Z Corporation, they are the world's fastest, uh, easiest to use, most affordable color 3D printers. Um, we're trying to make this accessible to everyone uh, from a cost perspective um, and just the accessibility to produce physical color models very quickly and inexpensively. Uh, companies all, all over the world, uh, right here in Michigan as well, are, are using this every day to increase their innovation, improve their communication, speeding their time to market, uh, reducing development costs, and ultimately uh, winning new business. You know, to this point, um, kind of wanted to open it up a little bit um, for uh, potential questions. Um, actually, why don't we do this? I will. Uh, let's finish up a few more slides here, just to tell you a little bit about some of the, the things we're doing here in the coming weeks. Um, the next event we have on tap, we've got a lot of training uh, that's being conducted. In fact, uh, today at our shop, there's some training going on for Solid Edge and some future events as well. Uh, we have some upcoming webinars, webinars every week, every Tuesday, Tech Tuesday will be featuring a new uh, uh, category. And next up is Solid Edge uh, CAD for uh, titled Smart Parts. And please check out our website for all the future events to, to stay up to date with those. And of course, uh, we are um, taping all of our sessions as well. So you can find kind of the archived uh, presentation on YouTube. Uh, as follows at the CamLogic site, and you can link to that from our website as well. Um, but at this time, uh, thank you very much for joining us. Um, if anyone does have any questions, uh, certainly um, you could uh, type one in to me right now, and I could try to address that if that's possible. Um, if not, I can be reached at jamesw at camlogic.com. I see there's a typo there. It's jamesw at camlogic.com. And I welcome any questions or if anyone's interested in seeing any uh, demo parts or would like to schedule an on-site uh, visit from us or stop by our shop. Uh, we're in Oxford. Uh, we're very accessible. And uh, we'd love to uh, host you here and uh, teach you more and show you more about what we're all about here. Um, I'm not seeing any questions coming through. Um, I, think, uh, I think we're set. Um, Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us, and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you again downstream. Take care.